Hello friends, in this video tutorial we will see how to create a simple SSAS cube and then we will see how to view this SSAS cube inside Excel sheet. So for this let us go to our database. In our database we have got database called product database. Inside product database there are four tables customer, products, sales and time data. Okay. Now this we want to create a cube inside our SSAS using these four tables. Now in the analysis part right now in the analysis server there are no databases okay no overlap databases. So now let us go to our SQL Server 2012 data tools. Let us create a new project. Let us select analysis services and the first one that is multidimensional data project. Let us create a folder. Let us create a folder. Now first of all let us create data source. We want to connect to this particular database. So let us specify that we want to connect to the product database. Now for the purpose of this tutorial let us connect using service account and I have actually given permissions to the service account okay, on the server to access the data. So using the service account I will access the data inside our product database and I have given necessary permissions to this particular service account that is this particular login. Now, now let us create data source view. Let us add the required tables. Let us call this as data source view. Okay, now we can see that the sales data table is connected to time and product data and there are no foreign keys between sales and customer data. Let us verify it in our database table also. So we can see that the sales table has three foreign, four foreign keys. Three are with time and one is with product. Same information we can observe over here. There are three foreign keys with time and one with product but there are no foreign keys between sales and customers data right. So let us create one foreign key between them and connect these two tables. So let us take let us take customer key. Okay. Let us verify whether we have created the key properly or not. So the key is proper. Okay. Let's save. So now our data source view is almost ready. Let us do one more thing. Let us add one more column over here. Let us call it as full name. Okay. And what we want over here is we want the first name plus we want the last name. Okay. So this is a calculated field that we want inside our customers data table or NDT. 
so it is shown over here with a calculator in front of it right so now our data source view is complete let us add a cube we'll use the existing tables so the entities inside data source view will be treated as existing tables so let us add a major group that is a fact table now which all facts do we want to analyze we want to analyze sales amount and tax amount we will select all the dimensions and let us name this as sales cube so the cube is created let us go to time data let us add some attribute fiscal year fiscal quarter english month name products data let us add english product name customers data let us add gender let us add marital status let us add full name of the customer let us add yearly income okay that's it okay so now our cube is ready to be processed so let us go and deploy deploy this cube okay so now let us go to our ssas database let us take the name of the database let us go to properties deployment now let us specify that we want to deploy this cube in our this database and let us name it as ssas olap db1 also we see that the build and deploy options are ticked okay save let us deploy so the deployment is complete so let us go to our database let us refresh it so we can see that the ssas olap db1 has been created and the cube sales cube is also created inside it okay fine so now we want to do analysis of data inside this cube so for that let us go to excel data and connect from other sources that is from analysis services let us take the name of the server again so it is showing us that there is ssas db1 sales cube let us click next finish okay so now we can do the analysis let's say we want to see sales amount and tax amount right and we want to see the amount based on gender okay so it is showing female and male and married and single married and single right so it is showing us all the data okay let us say that we want to see data based on the year fiscal year okay so it is showing us based on the year and let us add quarter to it okay so it's showing data as per the quarter also right so this is how you can see the data you can also add filter to your data okay so now you can filter the data let's say you want to see data only for 2000 2005 okay right so in this way you can browse the data and do analysis in your excel sheet based on the data that is that has come from the ssas cube i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you